Hey everyone, welcome to Electrofun. In today's video, uh, I will talk about how to interface an RGB LED with STM32. In my previous video, I have already talked about uh, in, uh, integrating P, uh, pulse width modulation with STM32, the same board. Now, this video will just be an extension of it. I'll explain what I've done in that video for sure, but I won't focus much on that part. This is the RGB LED that I have. Uh, I have three resistors, each of 300 ohms, just to uh, provide current limiting to my R, G and B uh, LEDs. So from this uh, RGB LED, we can see the pinouts are such a way that the long longest lead over here is the ground. The up one over here is R and then followed by G and B. So this is what we'll keep in mind why we interface or do the connections with STM32. So let's get started. Hey, so what we'll do over here is we'll just create a new project, the same uh, method that we follow for uh, our previous videos as well. We'll select the board, we'll select the peripherals and so on. So for board, it's F. 446RE we'll do next we'll give the name so we'll give RGB tutorial and then next we want everything as it is we'll initialize everything with default we can clear and initialize it again but I would rather not do that we can just start integrating the modules the way we want So if you remember what we did last time was uh, we saw that the APB timer clock is uh, 84 megahertz. So we divided that with 84. So first I'll go to timer. I'll select the channel one as PWM, which is PA8 over here. Coming to what is PA8, PA8 is D7 over here. So we know what pin we do, what pin do we have to connect. So we, if you remember, we had a prescaler of 84 over here and counter of 100 just to give us an exact uh, 10 kilohertz or roughly 10 kilohertz. So over here, we don't, we are not focusing on what frequency do we need. We are focusing on the range for which uh, if we have three different uh, contents of R, G and B, we can generate a one color out of it. So I'll have 255 over here and if you remember the pulse is nothing but the duty cycle we will keep it zero over here for now we'll change that in the code and channel 2 and then channel 3 so what I've done is uh, I have given the I've given I've defined three timers over here now I'll save this it will do all the initialization for us that we need and here we can start with our code so first what we need to do is we need to start the timer pwm start this was the same uh, api that we used before it it took the timer and then it took the timer channel so the first channel and same way we have to initialize the other two channels that we have just defined again it's the timer one only if you see all of them are part of timer one it's just three different channels so starting all the three channels and if you remember what we were doing was we were changing the pulse over here to give us a particular duty cycle right so to make sure that we have that duty cycle, what apparently I'll do is I'll just initialize one and then I'll do this 100 because the period right now is 255. So approximately 100 will give us little less than 50% duty cycle at 10 hertz. So we won't do that right now because I don't have the AD2 setup ready with me. But that, that is what we did earlier. Now 
we'll move forward with this now the way to do that is very simple first we'll see what we need to do mixing color chart so this gives a very decent idea on what value do we need to get what color so it's very simple we have rgb led if r is 255 which is maximum intensity it will be red and other two will be zero so using this chart as an idea you can generate any color you want i'll just show you a couple of examples in the code so let's see how we can do that so what we'll do is we'll just make a function for that and functions are usually defined over here we'll do void rgb color it will take three parameters all of them should be a uh, 8 bit integer so red a underscore t green and then blue uh, after reading that what it will do is So this is basically nothing but a type type def internally that allows you to control a specific uh, timer channel. So we need CCR one. This will basically control the first channel, and then we'll have red over here. And the same way, we can have uh, other ones as well. So it will be channel two and channel three over here. and then it will be green and it will be blue so we have our functions we have the function ready let's declare or define that function in our prototyping so this is where we have to define we have the function prototyping done now what we can do is we can directly call the function from here so let's do this Two fifty five comma zero comma zero, and compile this. So meanwhile, uh, what connections do I have to do is, as defined from here. So we have three channels: PA eight, which is red; PA eight is D seven, which is red. So I'll just connect that. A very simple connection, quickly. you can use any small value resistor uh, for your r g and b it's it's just only for uh, current limiting i'm using 330 ohms over here So T seven is my red. P nine, P nine is T eight, which will be my green, and then P A, P A ten, P A ten is D two. So as you saw that. even though it looks in sequence but it is not in sequence so just make sure you have all the pins initialized the way you are supposed to have it initialized i have my connections ready now i will just connect my board over here and we have the compilation successfully done as well no errors which is a good thing so what is this supposed to do is show us red color just red color compile it again and then i'll run it okay we don't need to change anything over here so now i'll move down uh, on the hardware setup that i have done to show you if led red led is been uh, on or not 
so I'll just press reset and you can see the red LED is on over here so I'll just quickly do a little bit more over here just to play around so this was red color so what I want right now is all three colors individually so first was red then it will be green after a one second delay and then it will be blue after a one second delay and it will continue in an infinite loop so i'll just com compile this i'll run this and we'll see if that updates on a hardware or not green and blue red green and blue so this is how uh, i have interfaced rgb led with my stm32 you can play around using this color chart so uh, let's just change something let's change yellow uh, to 55 255 and uh, let's do an orange 255 128 128 so this will basically be yellow yellow orange and blue so just compile this run that again and it's done uploading you see yellow orange and blue orange is a little dim over here but we see a different color transition so i hope you have understood this video um, if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section below this is pretty much what we can do to get get working with rgb led using timers and pwms so i'll see you the next time thank you